Hey, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna be dividing with decimals. I got this special request from a subscriber and Stephanie Lopez commented she would like to have 2.6 divided by 1.2. So thank you very much, Stephanie. We're gonna do that. Also, I, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. I believe it's Eamon um, said, we love you from Egypt. I'm getting uh, viewers all around the world and I got a lot of people from Egypt. So thank you very much. Um, someday we're on our show, we're going to learn more about Egypt, but I'm, I just love that. And I, I see a little bit, I believe that might be Arabic. So I know just a touch of Arabic. I know how to say, Ismi, Mr. Jeff. So, um, but I want to learn more uh, languages from all around the world. Also from, I believe it's Marzia. Um, I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name, but it's M-A-R-Z-I-A. -A. She said her children really love the show. And also from Miss Rux commented, um, thank you very much for the comment there. So let's get right into the show here. And we're going to take a look at this problem right here. It's kind of fun doing decimals. Um, whatever you're going to be doing here, you have to do exactly the same thing on, on that side. And we're going to do maybe a couple of different problems. So you'll hopefully you'll get the hang of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this decimal right away and I'm going to move this over all the way over here. I want to make this a whole number. That way it makes it so much easier to divide with. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of draw a line there. Whoops, I'm moving the number here. I'm going to draw a line just to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to put this decimal over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase this one here. That's a cool thing about the smart boards. You can make changes right away. And then I'm going to go ahead and erase there. Now, I moved this decimal one time, so that means I have to move this decimal one time. So actually, I'm just going to go ahead and take this select tool, and I'm going to move that decimal right over here. Pretty cool, wasn't it? Now, this is a whole number. This is 12 point. You just don't say, hey, uh, how many cookies do you have? I have 12 point cookies. No, you just say 12. So we don't even need that decimal there. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that decimal, and I'm going to delete this decimal right there. It's, it's all set up to divide. So how many times can I put 12 into 24? Two times. 12 times 2 is 24. So let's go ahead and write 2 right here. So 2 times 12, whoops, uh, 2 times 12 is 24. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract, and I have a zero remainder. So that would be the answer is two. All right, let's go ahead and do another problem here. 4.25 divided by 0 0.05. And again, I want to make this easy to divide. It's, it's hard to divide with 0 0.05. And I want to move that decimal point all the way over here to make this number a whole number. Now, what I need to do is remember, whatever I do on this side, you have to do exactly on that side. So if I move this decimal over one, two, I need to do the same thing over here. One, two. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that here. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that decimal point right here. And I go one, two, put it right there. And then I'm going to take this decimal point right here and go one, two. All right. Now, again, we there's no number called zero five point. So we can just go ahead and delete the decimal point, And we can also delete that zero right there. We don't need it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that decimal point and the zero. And then also this decimal point over here. We don't need it because it's way over on that side. And we don't say 425 point. No. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And now the number is easy to start to divide with. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, how many times can I put five into four? Can't do it. Need to work with 42. So five goes into 42 eight times. So I'm going to go ahead and put eight right here. So eight times four, or eight times five, I'm sorry. Eight times five is 40. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract. Sometimes when I'm doing this show, I'm looking at numbers. I'm way ahead. So sometimes I, I make a little mistake. It's So 2 minus 0 would be 2. And now I drop the next number down right here, here, right there, and put 25. How many times does 5 go into 25? 
five times, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the five right here. Five times five is 25. And you subtract with a zero remainder. And that's the answer right there, 85. Ready to do another one? Yeah, let's do it. All right, got one set up for you. Whoa, look at the size of that one. All right, so take, take a look at it. And if you wanna try this on a piece of paper, you know, pause the video and you're ready to check it with me, hit that play button. All right, now, again, whatever I do to this side, I have to do exactly to that side. If this number, has a decimal in it, don't worry, all right, don't worry. We just don't want this number to have a decimal. We want this number to be a whole number. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my select tool. I'm gonna move this decimal. Wouldn't that be great if you could do that on a piece of paper? So I'm gonna go ahead and click this decimal right here. I'm gonna move it over one time. So I'm gonna put it right there. And the same thing I'm gonna do with this decimal, one time, all right, now, Again, I don't need this decimal right here. So I can go ahead and delete that. I don't need the zero right there, so I can delete that. Now let's take a look at this number here. We have 00 0.216, all right? Now if you want to, it's okay to keep this zero. You really don't need that zero right here. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. And, and it's not gonna make any difference. I'm just gonna kind of redo this a little bit here. And I'm gonna move this number over here. All right, now we can start to divide. But you're saying, hey, I got a decimal in there. What? All we have to do is take that decimal and we're gonna put a decimal right up here, okay? And now we can just divide like we usually do. So how many times does eight, and you know what, just for this, maybe I will take this, this zero out of here, just so it's not so confusing. And I will move this over here. All right, now that makes it a little bit easier. Now, how many times, oh, now I gotta move this decimal over here, don't I? That's okay. Now, how many times can I put eight into 21? Eight times two is 16, eight times three is 24, too big, you just, just do two. And where do I put the two? I put the two, since I'm dealing with 21, I put the two right here. And in between here, I'm gonna put a zero, all right? So two times eight is 16. I subtract that, borrow one from the two, and this will be a one, and now this is 11. So 11 minus six equals five. So I'm gonna put five right here and then bring the next number down. This six goes all the way down here. And now we start the whole process over. How many times does eight go into 56? Eight times six is 48, eight times seven, 56, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put seven right here. So seven times eight is 56. So I go ahead and subtract and this is eight, zero. There you go. Hey, wasn't that awesome? Hey, I'd sure appreciate it if you take a look at my new channel. It's called Dino Math. We're gonna have a lot of fun with that. And once in a while, we are doing a live show. Sometimes uh, toward the end of the week, sometimes we'll do a live show. I just, it, it all, uh, sometimes it's just anytime I'm just like, hey, let's go ahead and do a live show. So that's a lot of fun. And the, uh, um, I believe it was Friday and we were doing a live show and it was so cool because, um, we were, I met somebody, his name was Peter, and he lives in uh, Kenya. And I used to have a friend that lived in Kenya, and that friend, oh my goodness, I, I, he must have, I think he knew over seven different languages. And Peter, I was talking to him, and he knows uh, three different languages, which was really neat. So I really encourage you to learn other languages, um, it's so much fun. So he is over here. Let me see if I can find Kenya here. Whoops, trying to get used to this map here. Alrighty here. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, right here is Kenya, right there. So let me see. Right there. Yeah. 
So, hey, thanks a lot there, Peter, again. I really had fun there. And I met somebody from Spain. There's And the other day, there was somebody from Egypt on her live show. And also from Maryland. Um, uh, uh, we had uh, somebody from Maryland. So um, just thank you so much for all your support. I'd sure appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down. Um, I'm always looking at comments and uh, taking your request. And like always, I hope you have a beautiful day out there. Adios. Goodbye.